ready to proceed? Over a dozen sea and air units make up this impressive international force, operating together off the coast of Gdynia in Poland as part of a NATO exercise, Dynamic Monarch 2014. Ships, helicopters, specialized craft and submarines are taking part in a 12-day exercise focusing on submarine rescue. The aim is to be able to act in any part of the globe, whether a stricken submarine is part of the Alliance or not. This exercise is uh, scheduled on a, uh, a triannual base, so um, it's been designed to cooperate with uh, a multinational uh, fleet of both submarines and rescue forces. The system being put to the test is the Esmerlo Emergency Response Protocol, set out by the International Submarine Escape and Rescue Liaison Office. Numerous countries around the world have an interest in this resource, so there are also several observers. The aim of the exercise is, uh, like I've said before, it's for humanitarian uh, uh, reasons, exercise for the submarine crews to be rescued you know, from a, uh, a distresser. As one of the most important deep sea rescue exercises in the world, a key craft for Dynamic Monarch is this NATO Submarine Rescue System, or NSRS Minisub which can dive over 600 meters deep and locate and latch onto a submarine in distress. Operating in such an extreme environment means solutions often need to be found for the unexpected. When the NSRS couldn't help us, cannot connect it with us, we can fill up the sub of the water, then we can dress special orange suit, then we put of the special orange tubes which can uh, help us to go on the surface and all the crew evacuating from the sub to the surface by these tubes. The sub is uh, full of the water from this lever, from this lever to up is the air from which we can breathe, yes? We take, we dress in this orange suit, rescue suit, we take the breath from this space or from the special system to briefing and then we close uh, our dress and go like this to the surface. Rescue craft and medical staff need to be on hand and ready to act at any moment. There's even a decompression chamber ready for use if needed. These procedures are not exclusively for NATO navies and are meant for use with any sub complying with international interface standards. The next Dynamic Monarch exercise will be in 2017 when new crews and professionals will be trained in what is one of the trickiest rescue operations on the planet. What's clear to all involved in this exercise is that solid international cooperation and the lessons learned here may one day save lives.
space time. Scribble Jeep. Okay. Mark, what's on that? Thank you. 